हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम रोल एस और टूडेज टॉपिक इज इन्फ्लुएंस लाइन डायग्राम फॉर सपोर्ट रिएक्शन ऑफ थ्री इंच पैराबोलिक काज नाउ द मेरिंग आउटकम्स आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ आई एल डी एंड ऑल्सो स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू ड्रॉ आई एल डी फॉर सपोर्ट रिएक्शन ऑफ आर्च नाउ हेयर ILD for support reaction of arch or of three hinge parabolic arch. now here now which are the support reactions here support this is a parabolic arch having the three hinge means one hinge at the springing point then another hinge at the another support of the springing point and third hinge at the center so support reactions are here the va then here the vb and here the horizontal reaction h here the horizontal reaction h and this is having the span l and this is also the having the height is the rise is the yes, central rise now if you want to draw the ild so we have to apply the unit load on the structure so here we are applying here the unit load and this distance is the x now we have to draw the ild for va vb and the h for the sake of convenience we have to consider as a simply supported beam because we know everywhere by the edis theorem anywhere the bending moment is a beam moment minus the h moment or thrust moment so this span is l and this is the unit load and this is the distance is x now by applying the sigma m a condition is equal to 0 we know here this is x by l and this reaction is a 1 minus x by l so when you apply this sigma m a condition this 1 into the x minus this vb into the l is equal to 0 so vb is equal to the x by l and total load is a 1 so va Is equal to the one minus x. Now, first we draw the ILD for reaction R A. ILD for reaction R A. Now, the R A. We know this R A. Is equal to how much? Or uh, not R A? That is, this is V A, V A, and here also the V A. So V A is equal to is equation is one minus x by L. So you have to apply the limit that is the zero to L. Zero to L, zero to L, or we can say that is zero. X is greater than the zero and less than the L. 
we have to apply this limit to 0 to L. So now here, when x is equal to the 0, what is the value of the VA? So 1 minus 0 by L. So this is the theta. And when x is equal to L is VA is equal to 1 minus this L by L will become the 0. That means we got the value when x equal to 0 VA is equal to the 1. When x equal to the L is VA is equal to the 0. So we can draw here the ILD x equal to 0 is 1 and here is 0. So join this by the linear line. This is 1. This is the ILD for reaction R. ILD for reaction the VAB. And the array here we are representing that the VA. Then next is the ILD for GD reaction GD. So we are having so we know VB is equal to the X by L. Again, limit is the same, that is, a, is 0, x is less, greater than 0 and less than the L. So, put the limit x equal to 0 and x equal to the L. So, Vb is equal to, now here, so when the x is equal to the 0, Vb is equal to 0 by L. So that is the 0 and when x is equal to L Vb is equal to this L by L. So that is the 1. So we got here x equal to 0 Vb is equal to 0 and when x equal to L Vb is equal to the 1. So here draw the ILD for that. Now x equal to 0 is 0 x equal to L is 1. So we join this line also. So these are the ILD for the VB. Now next is important that is the ILD for the horizontal thrust. Next part and that is important here. LD for horizontal thrust that is the H that is the H now for that we know for the H we are taking the here a bending moment at the crown bending moment at the crown so here here we have to apply the condition that is when this x is greater than the 0 and less than the L by 2 it means when load between zero to L by 2. For that we have to find the value of the H. For that we have to find the value of the H. What is here? When this load application is from this 0 to the L by 2 only up to here. So take the bend moment at this hinge. Take the bend moment at here the hinge but take from the right side. What is your cover condition when the load is between 0 to this L by 2? When the load is between 0 to L by 2 means this unit load is between 0 to L by 2. Take the bend moment at the crown from the right side. From the right side. So 
gitu. Here. Bending moment. At crown hinge. equal to the zero and that window moment is from the right side from the right hand side right hand side now here suppose Now suppose it's a parabolic arch that we know here. It's a third inch, first inch and the second inch. And here we have applied the hinge door is between 0 to L by T for the sake of convenience we have to draw a simply supported beam and show here this one and this is the x and this distance is the l by 2 this is 0 and this is the l what is here we know this is the va and this is the vb but here we are taking the bend moment at this hinge at this location but from the right side but from the right side this is the VA and this is the V axis so bend moment at the crown hinge is equal to 0 because here at the hinge is bend moment is 0 but we are considering from the right hand side so we know the bend moment at hinge is equal to the a B moment minus H moment B moment minus the H moment so what here and that is equal to the 0 because here we are taking the a B moment at the hinge so is equal to B moment is like this from the right side this distance is the L by 2 from right side this create the a second bend moment so vb into the l by 2 this is a b moment now the h moment is what this is the h and at here this height is a vh so h into the h minus h into the h is equal to the 0 now put your value vb is equal to we know is a this is the x by l this is a 1 minus x by l so vb is equal to the x by l into l by 2 minus h into h is equal to the 0 so here this h l l gets cancel out so this h into h is equal to x by 2 so this h is equal to the x upon vh so here we got the equation here we got the equation of the h so always in the case of the ld we have to develop the equation so here we got the equation when this load is 0 to x is less than the l by 2 in that condition when the load is between 0 to L by 2, the H is equal to the X by 2H. Now put the limit here. Now put the limit. What is the limit? When X is equal to 0, what is the value of H? So H is equal to 0 by 2H. So this is equal to the 0. Then L by 2. So put X is equal to L by 2. What is the value of H? 
So here is L by 2 divided by the 2H. So this becomes L by the 4H. So here we got the value when x equal to 0 is 0 and x equal to L by 2 the value is the L by the 4H. Now the second condition that is condition number 2. When this load is between L by 2 to L or if x is greater than the L by 2 and less than the L or another way load between L by 2 to L L by 2 to L now here when we draw here the arch A is the B the C now this is the L this is the H for the our simplicity we will draw here the simply supported beam this reaction is VA and this reaction is the VB now what is our condition this we have to place the load between this L by 2 to L we have to place this load between L by 2 to L Place the between L by 2 to L means add here, or we can say that is add here. Unit load, unit load, and this distance is the x. This distance is the x. So again, we are taking the bending moment from the now the left side. The bending moment at bending moment at crown hinge and that is equal to zero but from the left side bending moment from the left side from here so we are taking the taking the bending moment at here but from the here this side from the this side so b moment we know b moment is what b a into the l by 2 is the b moment now the h moment this is the h so what here at this location we know the h create a hogging moment so h into the h is equal to the 0 so put the value of v a V A is equal to the 1 minus X by L into L by 2 minus H into the H is equal to 0. So we can say that here H is equal to 1 minus X by L into L by 2H. We got here the equation when the load is between L by 2 to L is the 1 minus x by l into l by 2h now put the conditions here that is load is between when x is equal to the l by 2 what is the value of h so h is equal to 1 minus l by 2 by l into l by 2h so this we get here h is equal to l by the 4h then x is equal to the l this h is equal to 1 minus l by l into l by 2h so here 
we got the value of gh is equal to the 0. So when x equal to L, this h is equal to the 0. When x equal to the L by 2, this h is equal to the L by 4h. And the previous one is what? Here, when x equal to 0, is 0 and x equal to L by 2 this h equal to the L by 4h means when the L by 2 x equal to L by 2 in the both the case the value is the same that is the L by the 4h. So if you draw the ILD for the horizontal thrust when x equal to 0 this value is 0 this is the L by 2 when x equal to L by 2 this value is the L by 4h and again for x equal to L, this value is the 0. So draw this line smooth, the linear line. This is the ILD for the H. This is the ILD for H. This is the ILD for H. Thank you.